Hi viewers, this is Engineer Mazhar Abbas on my YouTube channel Civil Engineering Help Desk. Today viewers, our topic is not uh, any derivation or any numerical or anything that uh, related to field or any related to study. But today our topic is, topic is a very common topic and which is Australian subclass visa 476 viewers first of all i describe what is this visa and after that why what is relation of this visa with the civil engineers and also other type of engineering student viewers australian government uh, has introduced subclass visa 476 viewers ago and uh, this visa allow fresh graduate or any graduate who has done graduation within two year after his graduation he or she can apply for this visa and this visa allow any candidate to work study or travel in australia for 18 months this is a is for 18 months the time period for this visa is 18 months and this visa may be extended but uh, for extension uh, this visa have some eligibilities and while living in australia you have to fulfill and you have to get a few points for the extension of this visa which is another topic so viewers my uh, opinion and why i make this video is that most of the engineers are confused while applying for this visa and most of the engineer had applied and they are still confused whether she sh uh, they should go to australia or no not today i will discuss and share my opinion so viewers if a student or if a engineer who is working in a any good firms and he or she is satisfied with its fame or with its organization or any construction company I think this candidate should not apply for this visa because if you are working in field if you are working on any office if you are working in design office and you are satisfied with your environment you are not the person who should apply for this visa remember that this visa allow you to work in Australia for only 18 months but this visa do not give you guarantee for your field job it's mean you are a civil engineer and you apply for this visa and after getting visa there is no guarantee that you will get job in australia civil engineering job in australia so that is why i am saying if you are currently working in your field so and if you are satisfied main thing is satisfaction if you are satisfying with your job and with your organization then do not apply for this visa because most of my friend they apply they they were working in very good firms but they applied for visa and they, they go to australia and uh, first few men they struggles and after that they didn't get civil engineering jobs but they are doing odd job and they are earning a lot of money but the, the question is when they came back they have a huge gap in their career the 18 month is very huge gap and uh, if you uh, think that uh, it it doesn't matter it will matter because while working 18 month in any other job your engineering skill will be disturbed and after that when you will came to your country you will feel much trouble maybe you have a lot of money you have to 50 60 lakh in your account but uh, uh, it doesn't matter because uh, 18 month gap is a huge matter and it will uh, it will destroy you so that is why my opinion is that if you are working in a good firms and you are satisfied with your job do not apply for this visa because most of the people had done this mistake then who should apply for this visa my opinion is that the engineers or uh, the graduate because not only engineer any graduate 
who has done graduation can apply for this visa so my opinion is that any graduate or any engineer or any civil engineer who is not satisfy his job because most of the engineer uh, who want to work in site but they are not getting site jobs they are they have to work in design office or any estimation company any engineer who want to work in estimation but he is not getting estimation job any engineer any graduate who want to work in desire field but he or she is not getting uh, that kind of job this candidate should apply for this visa and also other candidate who are uh, struggling in getting jobs many of the engineers or many of the graduate because i am an engineer so definitely i will talk about engineers so but uh, this visa is also for any graduate so any engineer who has done graduation and after 5 to 6 month of uh, engineering he or she is uh, struggling in job and do not find job so i think this candidate should apply for this visa immediately and remember one thing this visa is not a rapid visa I mean if you apply today and uh, after one month you will uh, be a get visa and you are going to australia it's not such that because this after applying for this visa you have to wait for one year or 7 to 8 month for visa so the uh, engineer who are working in uh, field but they are not satisfied or engineer uh, who are uh, unemployed they can apply for this visa but also try to find jobs or if they are working in job they must uh, they must stay in their jobs until their visa will come because a few of my friends when they apply for visa they resign from their jobs and they have to sit 6 uh, to 7 month in their home for uh, waiting for visa so do not do this mistake another thing uh, you should remember there are two basic eligibilities for this sub class visa 476 there are many classes of visa australian visa but for fresh graduate there are sub class 476 in which you can work any other visa there are many other type in which you can study and you can work and you can get a job so they have another eligibilities but for this visa the there are only two eligibilities one is you have to done ids with six man which is a very common and very easy and second you have graduation and within after the graduation within two period two year period you can apply been if you are graduating now today and from today to two year in this period you can apply for this visa after two year you will not be eligible for uh, this visa so i had i i am uh, making another video that will only discuss on uh, the criteria and how you fulfill criteria and where you have to apply and how you can get ids six band there is another video which i will be upload in few days you can also watch this video so viewers this is my opinion and also remember this if you are uh, unemployed or if you are not satisfied with your job you can apply for this visa but uh, remember there is no guarantee for job in australia you have to go for australia you have to work as a pizza delivery boy you have to work as a office ma- office staff you have to work as a uber driver or any other job or job but the main thing is while living in australia you must try for your field job few of uh, people get their engineering job and if you get engineering job there are plenty of chances for extension of your visa work visa so this will be a very surprise and grateful for you if you are if you have get engineering job your field job in this 18 month and uh, if you didn't go, uh, get don't worry do odd job as uh, many of the other people are doing and then when you came back you have a lot of money you can investment in any other field but uh, my opinion is that if you are unemployed and if you are not satisfied with your job then you have to apply for this visa viewers hope that you like my video Uh, because few of my friends suggest me to make videos in such type of cases while for engineering lessons is 
why for uh, why engineer do not get job and uh, uh, which field engineer choose after uh, graduation so i am now trying to make such a type of a uh, video so please share my video and uh, subscribe my video and also hit bell icon so that you can get a notification whenever i upload video thank you